Welcome to Parent Square. Today we are going to look how you can use appointment signups to use for your parent teacher conferences. When creating our signups on Parent Square, make sure you see your name in the upper right corner and that you have your proper school selected in the upper left. We're going to get started today by clicking the down arrow next to the new post. I'm going to choose appointment signups. From there, I can add my dates. For these dates, we are going to use the dates of our elementary conferences that are happening in September. So I'm going to go ahead and put September 14th, and then I'm gonna add another day. And this time I'm going to choose our September 28th date. I'm gonna choose my time. I'm simply going to type in 4.30 p.m. so we can get our start time. And then I'm going to choose our end time which is 7.30 p.m. The recess tab that you see here, we are going to leave unchecked for these purposes. The recess tab is strictly just to use if you're going to take an extended break um, during these times that you have set. We're going to set our appointment duration for 20 minutes. And then if you need a break between appointments, you can set those as well. From here, we are going to check both boxes to hide names of users who sign up and to limit just to one appointment per time slot. So I'm gonna check both boxes and choose next. From here, you will see where you are given a list of all of your time slots. If you notice there's a little trash can next to it, you can delete a time slot if you would choose not to use that time slot for your conferences. From here, you can choose and change um, your title if you would like to choose that. So I'm just going to put Parent Teacher Conferences because that is what this is for. And we want to make sure this is labeled to just one spot per appointment time. Once I have that chosen and everything looks okay, I can click Next. If you notice, now it looks like it's headed directly to make a post. So from here, I can choose my group, my homeroom class that it's going to go to. We can see that it's still defaulted to our staff and parents. This is any staff member and parent member that is associated with your classroom. You have your subject time. It automatically will default what you have, appointment signups, and then your last name. You are free to edit that as well. And then also it gives you a basic description that can also be edited. Down below is where you will see where it has your signups listed and totaled for each appointment date. If everything looks okay, off to the side, you can choose to post now, you can choose to preview this, and you can even choose to schedule this to go out at a later date. If you have any questions in regards to appointment signups on Parent Square, please reach out to your building's technology integration coach. Thank you.